Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to back up and restore local group policy editor settings in Windows 10 and this is Windows 10 Pro we're using here now we need to open up the group policy editor now if you've got Windows 10 home it won't be available to you but go down to the search box and type GP edit and this will open up the uh, group policy editor now you can't uh, get this confused with the uh, group policy management console this is on a server machine this is a Windows 10 uh, home machine here and we're going to be using the local group policy editor program so we can't uh, back up this in a normal way which you would do with the group policy management console but you can still back this up by using a little trick which I'll show you in this video now this is really useful because if you ever want to format your system and back up all your settings you can do and then when you reinstall Windows you can then uh, reinstall uh, all your settings which takes seconds so you can see here this is our little tree here with user configuration and computer configuration here uh, and we're going to go through and make some changes on this system so what I'll do, uh, up the top here you'll see file, action and view. If you was in the group policy management console, there will be a backup feature up the top there. But sadly, in the local group policy editor, you don't get that option. So you're going to have to use this little uh, uh, bypass here. So let's go to computer configuration, administrative templates, then Windows components, and go down to the search feature here. And we're just going to make some changes to the search here, just so we can... Um, uh, get a saving of these uh, files these settings and that way when we go to reinstall them we'll see uh, what they look like so let's go in ahead and enable these three here now you're going to be enabling and, and stuff like that and disabling loads of different settings in your group policy editor but I'm just going to do these three just to show you quickly how how it works now once I've got these uh, saved these three features I'm going to back them up and save them and uh, to do that we're going to need to do a little trick here so we've got these enabled and what we're going to do is going to go ahead and uh, back these up so for that let me just close this off here and uh, drop this down to the uh, taskbar here and then we can go ahead and uh, back them up so we're going to open up file explorer inside file explorer we're going to go to uh, the c drive then we want to go into windows and then we want to look for system 32 and now we need to unhide our files folders and drives by going to view and make sure you've got the tick in hidden items and it will allow you to see this and I've also got the tick in file name extensions as well if you want to do the old-fashioned way you can go into options and change folder options and go into view and uh, make sure you've got the radio button in show hidden files folders and drives and I've removed the tick from hide extensions for known file types so once I've got that done we should now be able to see our group policy folder in this section here so let me just quickly uh, drill down here and we'll take a look where our file is and there it is up the top I've just gone past it there we go it's right here now you'll probably see that this is a transparent folder and the reason for that is because it's a hidden folder and these are solid folders as you can see here so it's a little bit faded and that means it's a hidden folder so what we need to do is go inside here and we're going to make a saving of all these settings inside here so you don't need to save the whole group policy folder you can do if you wanted to but I'm just going to save what's inside here and uh, copy them to a drive here so inside here we've got machine and user and these are the ones that we're going to copy so right click and copy now we need to go to a location on another drive and save that uh, information because we might want to format our system so I'm going to save this here and this should save it very quickly across there now what we need to do here is I'm just going to quickly drop these down uh, to the taskbar here because what I'm going to need to do is make the changes to those settings that we've done and put them back to default so when we overwrite them we can see whether it actually backed those up so let me just drop these down here and uh, go back to our group policy editor so let's go back to the search and type GP edit and open up our group policy editor there we go and go back to com computer configuration administrative templates Windows components and then go back down to where it says search 
and all I'm doing here really is reversing the cycle so we can see whether the settings have been saved and restored so let me just go ahead and uh, uh, put a non configuration in here or not configured so I'm just going to go back and reverse this here there we go I need to do this for all the three settings here I put one as disabled there by accident so go back here not configured and we can go to this one here now obviously you're going to have loads more settings enabled and changed uh, but this one I'm just going to do free here just for quickness go back down here now and we're going to go to command prompt type CMD and run this as administrator now once we've got the command prompt open it's important that we uh, run this command which is GP update and then space forward slash false and this will force an update on the policies that we've changed okay so let me go ahead and do this quickly and this way we will know that uh, those settings have been changed there we go so I'm just going to update this there we go successfully completed we can now close off the command prompt box here and we can close off this one here what I'm going to do now is copy the files across so I need to open up the two locations here so on the right is our settings that we backed up and on the left is the actual group policy folder on Windows so I'm going to copy these three files over to our Windows machine here so assuming that you've installed Windows now or it's had an update and uh, all your settings have changed this is what you can do so I'm going to replace the files in the destination you'll be prompted to run this as administrator so just put the tick here to do this for all the current current files and stuff like that so I'm going to do that and click continue and that should overwrite all those files there that's done now so now we can close these off we don't need these no more and as you can see this will be a really super quick way of getting back up and running without going through all the settings every single time once more go back down to the uh, search box and type CMD and open up the command prompt and run this as administrator we now need to go GP update space forward slash false and this will force the changes because we've updated those folders and I want to make sure that um, it sees uh, the new settings which we've just copied across now we can go back down and open the group policy editor and we should now see all our changes that we made earlier that we backed up and we've just implemented them onto this system here they should be in place so go back to computer configuration administrative templates and down to Windows components then drop that down and take a look inside the search box and you should now see those settings have been set and as you can see it's a very useful little trick uh, to back up all your settings it will save you heaps of time and uh, if you're formatting systems or Windows resets all these during the update uh, process you'll be able to reset all your settings back very very quickly now this little tip only works on Windows 10 uh, Pro and above so if you've got Windows 10 Home sadly this is not going to work for you and uh, this is why it's really good to have Windows 10 Pro you can put all those features and settings the way you want it to block search Cortana all these things it's all done in group policy it's very useful and very easy and it's a really good thing to learn uh, because a lot of businesses use this sort of stuff as well and uh, it's a really essential part in my opinion of uh, computers uh, to learn so if you want to learn more or you want to have a chat with someone about computer repair business or anything like that or you just got questions or your video requests or anything like that why not come over and join our uh, discord server got a few people on there that are pretty active and have a chat I'm on there pretty much every day uh, when I get time I'll pop on and have a chat with people and uh, you can do the same just come over it's free to join and uh, don't be shy just come down in the chat box there and have a little chat or if you don't want to chat and you just want to chat via text you can always send a text message and uh, people generally answer those as well anyway I hope this one's been helpful to you maybe you want to put this one in your little favorites collection my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks for watching guys and thanks for your continued support I shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.